Hi Metalheads, willkommen zum Metalheads Forever Show Nummer 396 am 18.07.2022. Schön, dass ihr dabei seid zur ersten Show dieser Woche. Es wird wieder eine legendäre Woche, versprochen. Viele Highlights diese Woche und heute geht es gleich los mit einer richtig geilen Band, wer auf klassischen Hardrock steht. Made in Sweden, der ist heute richtig. Eine geile Band, geiles Programm, zehn Videos und zwei von der Band sind der Schlagzeug und Bassist sind heute hier und werden uns etliches erzählen über die Band Lungnet. Sehr, sehr cool. Aber losgehen tut es erstmal mit, äh, und, und das ich vergesse, in der Aftershow. Nicht ausschalten, da bleiben. Es gibt ja gerne ein Update an unser Fan-Treffen, unser drittes Fan-Treffen vom letzten Samstag. Gibt einen extra Trailer. Also, freut euch, wird ein cooler Abend, holt ihr was zu trinken und genießt Heavy Metal oder heute mal Hard Rock Made in Sweden. Sehr, sehr coole Band und losgenutzt aber mit einer anderen coolen Band, die ich gerne auch einladen möchte. Wir sind schon dran an der, glaube ich. Tom ist schon am Managen und zwar Star Child. Ein neuer Song. Hier ist Star Child und Silver Rain. Ich würde sagen, let the madness begin. Geschossen. So geht's. So, Freunde. Alle da draußen, ich begrüße auch unsere Zuschauer auf Twitch, auf Facebook und natürlich YouTube. Alle, die neu zu, äh, eingeschaut haben, Servus und grüßt euch. Auch Metal Mortal, habe ich gesehen, ist da. Servus Mortal, grüße dich. Hoffe, dir geht's gut. Und äh, ja, und alle draußen auf Facebook, bitte. Geht rüber nach YouTube. Ich muss immer wieder sagen, in einer Stunde wird normalerweise der Chat beendet sein und dann auch alles gemutet. Die Sendung wird auch dann gelöscht. Die wird nicht weiter auf Facebook sein. 
nämlich nur YouTube oder Twitch. Auf Twitch weiß ich nicht, was da los ist, aber auf YouTube, da spielt die Musik. Und da wird auch gechattet. Und alle, wo vor der Tür stehen, bitte lockt euch ein und schreibt mit, auch die Fans von The Friends from, from uh, Lungnet, log in, chat with us, you are very well, welcome. So, Freunde, ich würde sagen, das ist das letzte Mal, wo jetzt mich Deutsch hört, denn ab nächsten, ab nächsten Song rede ich Schwedisch. Ah, nee, Englisch. Genau. So, Freunde, auf geht's mit der ersten Song, geiler Song, Lungnet und Still a Sinner. Let our madness begin, made in Sweden. Still a sinner. Before I bring my guest in, greetings to Spain. Lieber Helmut Kohlfeindner, grüß dich. The keyboard of Michael Schinkels, Eternal Flame is here. Uh, Helmut, geh rüber nach YouTube. 
bevor sie wieder den, den, den Ding in Facebook zu machen. Der Herr Zuckerschnörbel, der macht ihm alles zu nach einer Stunde. Komm rüber in YouTube und sei dabei. Schön, dass du dabei bist. Freut mich. Total cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest from Sweden. Here is Frederick and Leonard, drummer and bass player per excellence. Hello. Yeah, man. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> yes. You look exactly the same like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, we did. Marvelous. The makeup is... Yeah, we, ha we haven't aged a bit. <laughs> yeah, the makeup artist is a killer. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Great you're here, guys. And congratulations to your fantastic albums. I really enjoyed it. That's actually my cup of tea. And when I listen to, to uh, Still a Sinner, you know, it's for me like it's, it's in, you put in a blender, in a blender, Black Sabbath, Rainbow and Deep Purple and and some screaming eagles like like uh, great singers, you know, out comes Lunglet. This is actually, you hear so much uh, influence, but yeah, we just figure out our age is nearly the same. I'm a little bit older than you guys, yeah. but we are raised and grew up in the 70s and 80s music wise and so you are absolutely you spot on <laughs> <laughs> this is actually to be honest i hear a little bit like a mix between tony iomi and black uh, and richie blackmore it's like like the riffing so so cool lunet is, is very very good uh, you know guys can you make that the camera a, a little bit down because because the, the of course yes 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 better yeah better cool skip the guitars <laughs> We, we can talk later about the guitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so we have, unfortunately, we have only you guys here. No singer, and the guitar players are not here. If if they are available, maybe in the show they can log in. No problem. No, no, they're 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 far away from here. They're on vacation, so they are spread not only in Sweden. They are on in different countries as well at the moment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But you yeah. know all about we we talk about before, so yeah. You know what? Uh, our our show starts always the same. I want to know the metalhead who is here today. How how you became a metalhead? How you became a hard rock fan? And I will start with Frederick. Great drama, I must say. That's oh, that's that's, that's what, what what I hear when all the stuff I heard today, all songs. This is handmade music. This yeah. is music from the heart. This is old school, heavy, hard rocky. Where you come from? Uh, what was uh, your influence? Drumming, for example, or what? Or how you started? Was drum your first instrument? Uh, no, no, no. I played a lot, a lot of instruments. I played violin when I was younger. Very uh, metal. Played keyboards. Uh, I tried to play guitar, but I started playing drums when I was 13. I've been doing it ever since. And just where I came from, I, the first band I really loved was Kiss. Okay. So I discovered them when I was six or seven. And, Kids you know, it... with uh, Peter Chris or Eric Carr? This is oh, something. No, uh... no, Peter Chris. Peter Chris, I, right. I bought the whole image of, you know, when you see a poster with Kiss yes. when you're seven years old with of the course. classic lineup, it's like, I, I, want to pay, I want to be a part of this. I love it already, but I haven't heard a single note from them. I already knew that this is the best band ever. Yeah, Got I agree. Great. You know, from that, I, I remember. I remember when I, when I discovered Kiss, like after ACDC, the purple Kiss, of course. And you see that the Alive 2 in your hand, and, and you open the sleeves and you say, What the hell? This is like a, 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 another world, this is another yeah. planet. This is like like fire and, and dragons, and, and what the hell, you know. It's, I agree. This is, uh, and Peter Chris was, was like, like that's why I think he's still today so so loved. He was not the best drummer of Kiss, uh, but but he was he was like unique. You know, this was uh, he has something something special on him, like Ace Freely as well. Of course, the other two guys. Of course, we know we don't have to talk about this. But Peter Chris, he was also one of my favorite. I don't know why. It was he was he was cool. It was yeah. Yeah, he was the best singer in Kiss as well. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why my favorite Kiss song is "Sure Know Something." This is actually my, my favorite, and this is Peter Chris' voice. Beth, of course, everybody talks about Beth, but he has great tunes. I love also his, his solo album. It was very cool. Okay. I like Black Diamond. That's a great one. Yeah. Of course. It's, it's yeah. a classic. 
All right. So so uh, uh, so now we know already kiss how how everything with uh, Lungnet is, is a little, little is not Lungnet is Lungnet. Uh, yeah. We have we have to talk about later how you became to, uh, a band. This is later on. Uh, Leonard, yeah. bass always your instrument? Um, no, actually that was the last instrument I played. It started off with piano, and uh, but in the end it was not fun. I wanted to play guitar, and uh, came uh, when we I was in fifth or sixth great they became a hippie guy uh, to doing the music lessons he was not an uh, original because um, uh, we didn't have music uh, at, at that time because we didn't have a music teacher anyway he came with his fender stratocasters and they brought a lot of Jimi hendrix stuff to to our to us to listen to and try to play so start to play guitars uh, and then the drum came. Uh, my father bought a drum kit, and then I started to play drums. And we built the first band together. And then uh, I was supposed to play drums. And then uh, the guy who played bass, he didn't find any bass lines. So I tried to find out bass lines for him. And in the meantime, he started to play drums. So in the end, we said, "Why don't we switch?" <laughs> so, so you guys I... together since 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 the childhood. No, 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 not with him, not with Fred. No, no, not him. Okay. Yeah, this is another story. But that's how I came, became a bass player, actually. So played piano, drums, and guitars before I started to play bass. You know, so it, it's funny when when you talk to to well known artists that they are doing it for forty years, something. Everybody remember the beginning, and this was actually the the, the fun times when 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 everything became commercial and 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 records and and of course this is the dream come true, but but. So the real, real fun was the beginning, when, yeah. when, when, when you plug in the very first time, you hear the first time the chords, and you have this magic. Uh, you make music together. This was actually for many, many, the the, the fun time, the it humble is. beginning. I mean, this guy, this hippie guy, Orke Bredelius, I, I I love him. I praise him every time. He, I mean, he did something to us completely different from everyone else at the, at that time, and just bringing guitars and in, in driving his old Volkswagen uh, car and then the, I mean and just gave us this uh, opportunity to play start to place and then that 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 kicked off and then of course I have the whole thing as the same with him as kiss sweet and that kind of stuff as inspiration yeah it came I mean when I heard the destroyer the first time I mean, <laughs> just blew me away and then yeah just went on from there and we got those as, as the the it was called poster a magazine called poster only with posters and i had all of them with kiss uh, up till 78 or 79 every single one but then i gave them away <laughs> and today i think they're worth a fortune i had mm. them all <laughs> so Kiss was definitely one of the first uh, now, heavy metal bands, or yeah, in heavy rock. I, I, I was sure, I was sure that that you, you will tell me something like this: where the influence come from? But Lunet is it's it's uh, let's let's say it's old school. This is old school hard rock. What, what yeah. are you doing with some heavy influence? But but uh, most of most of the as is a handmade creator, great hard rock. And I love it, melodic, great singer. And we today we have we have a, a choice of two singers. Actually, the former singer, which which was excellent, was an unbelievable singer. It's but you have to tell me this. Actually, uh, yeah, it's a shame that, that this guy uh, uh, wasn't longer there. But you found a, a, a great replacement, and he's a singer in his own right. And 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 of course, today the program is much more with the new singer. As the, the, the old, old, we have only two two videos today. So uh, the first still a sinner is uh, came out from uh, with uh, Pride and Joy music, right? Yeah, correct. Yep. It's from from a new album called Tales from Great Beyond, right? Yeah, it will be out uh, on August twenty sixth. The, the full album. Perfect. We will hear a lot from this album today, and of course elder stuff because you have quite a history i would say we play a little bit of music because we have now 20 minutes in the show yep. and let's play from the new album i chose the song eating alive yep. with a little bit video from from myself because there was no video for this of course and here we go eating alive killer track here we go <laughs> Yeah. 
Great. Love it. Yep. Short Great. and sweet. Yeah. Short and sweet. Yeah. This was not yep. a long one. Uh, I have to, uh, uh, I have, I made a mistake before. Uh, Peter Grasse, Dankeschön. Uh, it was not was sure not something. It was hard luck woman, of course. Peter Chris saying yes, to hmm. me. But uh, sure not something is also a great song. I love also, <laughs> but but hard luck woman was the song, of course. That's a good one. Yeah. Yes, very very cool. Yeah, give me a little. Uh, who, who tells me a little bit about about eating alive, or and in in overall the new album. What was what was the goal? To to follow the, the 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 previous album or I th I think for once we had more more time to write songs. This yeah. when you know the whole uh, COVID thing happened, we didn't have that much planned, so we basically just spent a year just writing songs, and we had. Uh, I mean, we have so much material material now. Um, when we did the last two albums, it was more or less, these are the songs that we have. There's eight of them. They're going on the album. This time we had more, I don't know how many, we had like 20 or 30 songs or skeletons of, of songs. Mm -hmm. So we could actually you know, choose and pick what goes on the album. We need a song that sounds like this. We need something a bit faster. And we had more to pick from. Than we had before, so I think it's more of a. I think it's a better mix of everything. I think we, yeah. as usual, try to make an interesting album, like the sound of the, like the sound of before. You know, to us it's still important to when we do an album, we think of it from a vinyl perspective. So it's yeah. like it can't be longer. Than, it can't be longer than forty-five minutes. And it's important, you know, how whenever you know the song. Uh, well, you, you, have, you have a good, you have a good mix on songs. If if I yeah. see now, they are the mostly they are around uh, four four minute songs. Yeah. But there are also longer versions, like seven minutes, of course. Yeah. And and uh, uh, yeah, what sticks out? You have great videos, but videos always a story. That's what I what I like. So old fashioned. You 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 pick from from old movie stuff, but later on later on I I, I go ahead too too fast. Uh, uh, eating alive. What is the backstory to eating alive? I mean the 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 basically the one of the guitar player Matti he came up with that song. We were just talking about having that that kind of shuffle easy uh, going uh, straightforward uh, something and uh, it was something he already uh, actually had an idea or, or made so he presented it to to the band and we love it uh, and, and immediately and, and and said we tried it and played it and said yeah th this is definitely a lunged song it's going to be it has to be on so he, he has a great you know what what, what reminds me of this song vibe from from vibe thin lithy So listen yeah. with this, 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 this double harmonies solos. You know, I like this. Now this is this is very, yeah. very cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We usually have like working titles on yes. our and the uh, the working title for this one was Nurse Nurse. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. You can figure it out. I think. <laughs> But I think, uh, as you mentioned, it the the harmonies of of guitars and and, and melodies is. That's more. We have got more of that uh, in, on this album, and that's also because now we have an, a new guitar player with in, in Mickey Linder, and uh, he and Matt is fitting very well together, and and, and it's quite fun and, and to have the, this kind of harmony melody playing uh, here and there. And yes, I great. Just love it because uh, it fits very well in the music, and that's something that is more or less new. We didn't we didn't have that before uh, on the previous albums not not like this we will have enough uh, time to see you guys on stage L later on we see you uh, how you work on stage and this and that's is what when i said you know that's the real deal this band is the real deal this is handmade there is no no backup no no backing tracks this is real we life. Play live. we play yeah, live that, definitely, that, def definitely you, you can hear. live on stage we don't Absolutely. have any backing tracks so ever, whatever Now we play a, a video 
I really like this video because it's it's a sense of humor in it. You know, it's like the beggar uh, looking for for a place to sleep, and then then no audience, three people audience, and the band plays the heart out. You know, and and it's so, so much fun. This this video, it's begging. And uh, let me also from the new album. Huh? Uh, let's, this is from the previous talk. album. Yeah, the the the, the Nightwalker album. Oh, so Baker okay. was from, from Nightwalker. Then yeah. I have a, a wrong information here because he shows me the new album. Okay. Hmm. Makes would... now makes more sense, of course. From look, I actually I was confused when I see the singers. I was is this the same singer or not? Yeah. Oh, I yes. have, have, do you do you have three singers now? Because yes. it looks it looks so different, you know. Now you, but you told me before because I asked you because I was a little bit confused. It's yeah. only the haircut. The haircut makes the <laughs> makes the man and no beard, of course. That yeah. makes right. it different. But but uh great video. Let's play it now and then give me a little bit inside about the song. Okay, yeah, begging. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, with us tonight we have five spectacular boys from Stockholm. Quite decent guys, actually. They call themselves Lunget and they are begging.
That was really something. Let's give it up for Lugnet. Let's give it up for Lugnet. Very <laughs> cool. That is vintage, you know. So even even a, a Ludwig Trumps. Here we go, you know. It's a really really nice drum kit. Is this is this your, your drum kit you always play? Is, is Ludwig uh, your choice? Uh, oh no, no no no! I have another Ludwig kit, but I usually yeah I prefer old drums. Actually, we used it for a couple of videos. It's a friend of mine. You know, he owns that kit. Drum that drum kit has been on on several music videos actually. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I, I saw it. I saw it in some videos, even yeah. Swedish bands. Yes, uh, Ringo Starr. Uh, it's 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 Ringo. Also, some 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 influence for you. Frederick? Uh, no, not really. I'm. I mean, I love the Beatles, but uh, as a drummer, I, I mean, it, it it depends. I mean, he played some really cool things. Then I, I don't. I, if if, I, if he actually wrote it, or if Paul McCartney wrote it for him. I think no. I, I think uh, he has this 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 famous swing. He yeah, has yeah, this yeah. Swing. yeah. He, I mean, he, he has swing in a certain way, but I mean. I, I watched some some tutorials uh, from 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 Trama who praised Ringo Starr that he's one of the world best drummers. saying, you know, if you, you think Beatles is not not uh, uh, sticks out as a drummer, but if you really dig in, if if a, a professional drummer try to copy Ringo Starr, he said, you know, he had some swing. Uh, the, this was some something something different. It's like like Charlie Watts. It's also very 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 different. How how he, he always miss one note. You know, it's like like or one one beat. Yeah. Uh, when I see this, I think uh, uh, I don't know. You never told me this, but maybe Bonzo is also an influence for you. Like like from drumming, this is very much a Led Zeppelin style drumming, fast yeah. and right. Yeah, yeah, I mean he is. I mean my favorite drummer of all time is Bill Ward from Black Sabbath. But Here I must go. say, uh, uh, John Bonham is his top top three. Yeah. I mean, I, I like, I like all, you know. This is the old school. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and uh, Ian Pace and everyone, you know, you know. The... Bill Ward was 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 a, was a killer drummer, you know. Yeah, yes. Especially okay. in the 70s. Holy shit! No, this was. They're all great. They're all like Ian Pace, uh, Bill Ward, Bonzo. They are great, no, man. Yeah, they are. Keith yeah, Moon. Man. Yes, yeah. also great, great drummers. Drama with his style, you know, they they have some 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 some, uh, they 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 it's a composition from drums, you know, right? Yeah. Be begging, who came up with this idea? I I love this idea, and 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 I did know that Rick Rick Rubin was in the audience as well, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. you know who was this guy? You know, I, I love this. You know, this is so so typical. You know, this is the, the music mafia. I call it. You know, when 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 a band plays, it doesn't. Yeah. You yeah, know? I mean it, it's it's pretty common in Sweden. <laughs> it's pretty common behavior for uh, an audience usually. Not only in Sweden, I tell you in Germany as well. Okay, I mean I it's think... just uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of annoying in a way. Just people standing there with like their arms folded and you know, let me see what you can do. My band's much better than yours, and yeah, that's kind. Music yeah. is fun, but yeah, I mean, you know what? What is much more, but you brought it in this video so perfectly because every musician around the globe has the same experience. There's always an idiot in the in the audience who makes like this. Eh, 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 sounds eh, 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 oh. <laughs> and you make heavy metal, you know, and what the motherfucker, what you want, you know, okay, go home, you know, and yeah. and and that the beggar, you know, this, this was it was. <laughs> he was sleeping and he, someone woke woke him up and he got pissed off, you know? <laughs> yeah, this was, was his apartment, suddenly, yeah. you know? <laughs> but I can tell, for instance, you were mentioning drummers and he and Frederick is mentioning bon Bonzo, etc. And, and when I came up with uh, with a riff uh, to this song, I, w I wanted to have a, a dr some drum breaks. So I was thinking Zeppelin in my head i had it somewhere and it's to give space for him to do drum rolls and, and drum breaks as he's doing because he's, he's one of those who actually can do it so that was yeah. part of my idea when i came up with it so you, you wrote the song i did i did most of it yeah not not everything but i came up with a lot of ideas to the this song yeah and also 
highlight from the song, the groove is there. This, this, that's why I said that's the real deal. You see a band, that's that's the real deal. But I love if singers can do this, what, what the singer does. Nemi, uh, this is the, the high screams in the right moment. Not yeah. overdoing it, not not no no not a, not an overkill. He do it in, in the right moment, the right and give give the the the, the song the edge, give the, the song with that saying, yes, yeah, when he screams up. And he, he does it in in some songs, but not too often. That makes a, a good singer. That's what always says. There is and always he's one of the best screamers ever is Glenn Hughes. But yeah. in my opinion, he do he's, he's overdoing it. Yeah. He do it so much that it's, it's nearly boring. You know that, that that because he can do it, I do it all the time. And this is uh, it's not it's not uh, uh, fits the song. It's, it's my my opinion. Maybe people out there said no, no, I, it's good like it does. It's a legend. I'm, I met him once. Great guy, very very great guy. So, uh, uh, a friend of mine, Helmut. He's from, you know, Michael Schinkels. Michael Schinkels, Eternal Eter Flame. You know this band? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this here. This is, this is the keeper player of Michael Schinkels or Michael Schinkels. Say to him, these guys are great mus musicians. Thanks, yes. man. Thanks a lot. Say to him, Helmut sucks him selber, Mensch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you. Thank <laughs> yeah, and, and Michael is also a very, very, very cool guitar player. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Schinkel, so I, yeah, yeah. Real deal. Definitely. Yeah. He, 23, 24, they're playing again, I heard. Schreibt doch mal, uh, uh, Helmut, wo ihr spielt, wo die, die Leute oder euch sehen können. Schreibt doch mal bitte in den Chat. Und ich, ich freue mich, uh, uh, sorry guys, I have to do a little bit in German. Ich yeah. uh, freue mich, dass Hannes wirklich wieder schreiben kann. Hannes, welcome to the jungle. Endlich bist du wieder da. Du hast, hast gelitten. Der, Hel, der Hannes hat mir sehr erzählt. In dieser Woche haben wir viel, viel, viel uh, Minis gehabt, Hannes und ich. Und der hat gelitten. Es hat ihm so angeschissen, dass er, dass er nicht schreiben konnte. Jetzt kann er wieder schreiben. Hannes, geil. All right. And now, now we, 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 we listen to the very first time to the singer before, which it's sensational, to be honest. And how was it when, when, when the new singer had to fill these shoes? Because this is, this is fantastic what these guys did. Was it hard for him? Or how you found actually the new I singer? Actually, it was uh, I got a tip off from uh, the, the the former, actually the first drummer of Ingve um, Malmsteen, the Shell Eriksson. He's now it's called Shell Nietzsche, uh, and he played drums with Ingve uh, in Sweden before Ingve left. Uh, but and he he said that I I remember he, he, uh, a rainbow cover band uh, rehearsing in the area and he said yeah i remember that singer he he's he's pretty good he could probably fit in and do the do this thing so i tried to figure out and i got some tips of who he was and where to find him so i just uh, sent you on a, a note to see if he was interested so basically that's how we got, got in touch with him because it's not easy to find someone to replace roger and uh, to and someone who has all this experience as well and, and are into the yeah black sabbath purple rainbow uh, have that background and can do the high notes as he can do uh so yeah i, I would I, say uh, roger he reminds me very much on ray gillen ray gillen had this this, this great great uh, high voice he, he has this range you know and yep. the persona and when 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 you look at him you think it's like like a mix between uh, uh rick alzi Kind of style, you know. It's also great vocalist. I mean, he's uh, as for me one of the leaders, world leaders in metal shouting. That's the new generation of of metal singers. That's and and of course, Roger was one of them. Or is he still around? He's still I know. Yeah, him? I met him. We had a barbecue last a couple of days ago, and and he, he's around, but he's not singing, and he he left the music scene, and basically that's why he. He, he jumped off because he had so many many other things to do in life uh, family cars whatever and that's i mean you can't force anyone to sing if he doesn't want to <laughs> no it's it's if he if, if he's not right anymore if, if he if he not feel it you know and of course but i i, I guess when when he left i think this was was a desperate time for for lunet because we got now you have to find somebody who feel this yeah. you you cannot you cannot have a singer who is who is less this because because everybody will say yeah uh it's over it's... yeah there it's over and, and 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 in this case you 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 found the guy 
we have we have you have something very special in his voice the new singer yeah so uh, we yes, right. this roughy roughness a little bit yeah. and 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 uh, uh, he, he has a special tone and but we have enough time to to talk about it again now comes a, a, a great track i tell you this is actually one of my favorite because it's heavy it's a heavy track it's it ain't easy from 2015 and yes. his lunette with roger on the vocals This singer gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Here again, we have a blender. You put Jolene Turner, you put Ray Gillen, you put Graham Bonnet and Jeff Scott Soto in one blender, and what comes out, Roger. Damn, you know, this, what a killer voice. And yeah, he, 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 he quit singing. This is a shame. Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're so lucky we found you one. And, and that yes, of course. Now, this doing and, this and is before and now, and you yeah. found a great singer. And, and But I, I guess he was in, in, intimidated. If he hear this stuff, say, all right, 
this is a uh, Lungnet. This is the stuff you can. And he listened to this. I go, holy fuck, <laughs> man, that's the pipes, you know. I think that's cool. I, it, it's it's that's good. That's very good done from from Johan. He, he, he did a tremendous job to to get yes. into he the. Ke whole. He, he kept he kept you alive, guys. Yeah, and yeah. then he he did his he's doing his thing, and now with with matching everything together now in the, with the new album as well. Now we're going. A, a bit further anyway so i i, I, I wondering how this so this song sounds with you i'm yeah. I wondering how, how this uh, uh it's cool it's, we have to, we we're pitching it down we have to pitch down the, the the a bit but he's doing a great job for those on those songs as well definitely so long frederick not slow down it's okay <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep it up. It's 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 funny. It's funny when 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 I see videos and 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 they're already seven years ago, or ten years ago, or twenty years ago. How they look, uh, that looks of, of the musicians and how they get older, you know. And you, shorter hair, Frederick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. And cool. I like I like I love the video. It's always a little little twink, you know, a like, like, little bit sense of humor, you know, a little horror. It has to be there. It great, has, great done. Humor yeah. has to be there, otherwise, so, not always. But is there is there a, a, a backstory to the to the song? Is that easy? How, how the song oh, came I, together? Uh, that song came together. That, that was actually the first song we wrote as a band. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This brings us now to the uh, to the point. Uh, this song was from 2015. Yeah. Uh, when when uh, uh, Lunglet uh, formed. We started in. We started ten years ago, in yeah. February, uh, two thousand twelve. So, yeah. yeah. So we started just. Uh, I met him a couple of times, like twice, and I'm he. I met him at the uh, Sweden Rock Festival in two thousand nine, and he came up to me. It's like, well, it's you, and we started just chatting a bit, and he said, we should get together sometimes and jam, and just see what happens. I thought, well. That sounds fun. And then he called me three years later. Yeah, actually, it was I I, 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 if I wanted to have a to play with a drummer that had this jazz rock style that with Bill Ward and, and if to to make a band and play that kind of music with with or that groove. So and uh, a friend of mine, I, I didn't play much at the time in the, in the local pub. He said we we should start to play a band and to put a band together and i said oh, okay then but then i know i have to pick the drummer <laughs> i know i want on drums so and then he, he knew he had he knew some mutual friends of frederick so gave him a call and so said, it's actually uh, uh lumnet was your baby uh, you uh you started the idea you, yeah you got frederick and then and then you got the guitar players and 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 then, and, and how you found uh, roger he actually is a friend of mine. We grew up together. We listened to Kiss and, and stuff when we were kids. So I'm, I mean, I grew up with him, uh, and I played with him in the past. And actually, he was a guitar player in a band in the '80s that we had. And to, the, to tell you the true story, when the, the singer the, the singer couldn't uh, make it a rehearsal, uh, and then we asked Roger to sing just to actually to 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 get That's through. That's for fun. Oh, yeah, and then. Uh, the whole thing just stopped and said, "You fucking, you're a singer. You're not a guitar player." <laughs> so that's so we 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 know each other from from the past, actually. That that's but we didn't play that. We had a cover band or and we and, and another band before that. So so I knew him since for, we were kids. To, to be honest, for me, this is world class. It oh. ain't easy. This is world class. This is this is perfection. If you love hard rock and heavy metal, I mean. This is you. You you have you are on the same level like 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 the big ones because I think this was a quite an impact Lundet had because this this was like what the fuck this is this is this is serious. I mean, I'm I'm really happy that you say that because I mean you yeah. mentioned all the bands before and they actually are now they stopped to play. I mean, they are in pension. <laughs> not not many bands are in that. Uh, from that area is is still going on, and that's what we hope that we can find the spot. We can deliver the same thing, but we're we're not 
of course, as big as you, they are. In Ains, you found your spot, hundred percent. This is because it's handmade. It's not. It's not a plastic. It's. It's not. It's not a, a, a quickly put a band together because we want to be rock stars. This no, no, is no. music. Music from people done by by professionals. They're doing this for years. You know, for for thirty years and, and more. And this is something the experience and all together, the craft, experience, and talent. When this fix together. It's it's a it's a match and and I'm I'm sure sure there is there is a market especially the the, the new generation discover now the old stuff they are, they are, they are discovered the sixties the seventies you know yeah. and this is the, the new generation they are, they are, they love this there there is there is for example like 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 uh, 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 keep it true festivals like 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 in Germany they will exactly bring these bands on. To, to, to cover this this time, you know, you would actually fit in this in this uh, keep it true festival, hundred uh, uh, percent. I'm sure. I, I'm sure. Lunet, we will hear from you for sure because it's too good. We so, will be there. <laughs> yeah, I I ask you, of course, I ask you. Uh, now you see our fan club is active like always, and and they're they're a little bit hangover because we, many of them were we had our our third uh, festival, uh, their festival our uh, meeting. With two bands, great bands, you know, and and uh, now they have a little bit hangover. Now they're re recovering. So, but still they're here today. Very very yeah. cool. Grüß euch alle da draußen. Ich hoffe, uh, ich habe genug Aspirin gehabt und ihr euch geht's wieder besser. Uh, we had all, they had a great time, and I had to watch this from here from the Philippines. Like they they have the time of their life. The fucking shit, you know. So <laughs> let's do some, let's do some some education. Education old style, uh, old old style, old school. Right from the fifties, fifties, yeah. and and this is now we just had a, a talk before about this song, especially because this is a really really old school movie, maybe fifty or sixty year old. Even I think it's more older. I think it's from year. nine or something. Yeah, yeah, ninety. And and it's now imminent. Actually, it's it's actually it's like like uh, you wrote the song way before. And now look at what happened. Now, hopefully, not happens. But it's it's uh, it's it's crazy how the world already acted. That this is original things, now. Okay, now I know which which which. Okay, the, the, you're talking about that video. Uh, okay, yeah. then yeah, and it's 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 much earlier. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. It's, it's in the this is the, the longest song from from you today. It's a it's, it's a seven minute, but it's worth to watch this and 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 a, a, a great song. But if you see this video. And you know that's the, that's the real footage. This is not not a made up video. This is a real uh, footage. Uh, a real thing. This and is it, the real deal. How crazy the world is already was and is again. You know, and this is what 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 the message of this song is: kill us all. Yeah. And let's let's play it. Great song, to be honest. Here we go. Thank you. First, Thank you. you'll have to know what happens when an atomic bomb explodes. You will know when it comes. We hope it never comes, but get ready. It looks something like this. There is a bright flash, brighter than the sun, brighter than anything you've ever seen. If you are not ready, did not know what to do, it could hurt you in different ways. It could knock you down hard, or throw you against a tree or a wall. It is such a big explosion, it can smash in buildings and knock signboards over, and break windows all over town. But if you duck and cover...
Now tell me right out loud. What are you supposed to do when you see the flash? Duck. Impressive. It is. It's a, it's, and you know, the, the, the brutal on this video, it's because all real footage, that's the real, uh, that, that is not made up. And, and, and we can only pray that that stupid idiot's not pressed the fucking button that this happens. If the, the, the last explosion, if you see this powerful, you know, it's it like, uh, and people are capable to do this to yeah. take. The guy over there is actually threatening us to do that as well. Yes. He, he's using that as a threat, which yes. is outrageous. It's completely outrageous. Yeah. Let don't let's go, get too political here because, but we know actually this uh, this is a crazy time, you know. Yeah. Let's talk about music. This is also a, 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 the perfect example. When when styles mix, but of course Black Sabbath is it's it's a it's a big influence on this song, I guess, because the riffing uh, voice. I I read before for uh, Ian Gillen. I cannot hear Ian Gillen here. I hear what uh, Graham Bonnet, Graham Bonnet and 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 uh, uh, Jolin Turner mixed a little bit. So this style of of Rainbow, Black Sabbath, this is clearly to hear. That's a style last the the the, the late seventies. Of Rainbow Rising plus Black Sabbath mixed in one perfect. That's yeah. just my opinion. But it, it's 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 funny how people hear different different things in the song. <laughs> uh, Jürgen Ripple hear Ozzy's voice in, in case Ozzy would sing this, but Ozzy couldn't sing this for for sure. This is uh, a new a new step. Who came up with this with, with this idea? I mean, this was before I must say this was way before the the the, the Ukraine war. Yeah. So. So somebody has, uh, and uh, not to mention, I have two versions of this before. I had a live version of you with how you do it, and you play actually the keyboard, right? Uh, I play some Mellotron. I just love to play the Mellotron. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So I play that, the that one. That's yeah. one. So you, 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 you're not using backing tracks. No, you play the real deal. Yeah, you yeah, play I play, the yeah. I play live. Yeah. Yes. True. Very cool. And I was, I was saying, hmm, play this, play that. No, no, no what? Show the video because it's 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 a powerful video. It's a video with, with a message. You know yeah. that's why I, I I chose this over the others. But you you bring this live exactly like like here exactly the same. Yeah, we try yeah. actually, and, and that, that's what we try to do is all the time to to do the whole thing live as 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 much as possible. Oh, that's what we do. Yeah, and that's this makes you as yeah. great like you are. Uh, Kill us all. Who had the idea for the song? I think. The... No, I I wrote the music for that yeah. one, and it was actually in, we had that song finished before the first album, but it was too long. I think it was like 15 minutes long, yeah. and and no one liked it. So I took it home and chopped it down a bit. And uh, I mean, the intro and the outro, it's pretty much uh, Matte, a guitar, a guitar player, who uh, usually arranges uh, a lot of stuff. So it, it gets better. I mean, when I when I bring in a, a part or an idea, it's very basic and very yeah. juvenile in a way. So usually, like, take this and... So you, you are happy, actually, that you bring the, 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 the skeleton? I say now, give me. Yeah. What What is your yeah. opinion? What do you, What you can bring on the table, right? Yeah, and I, th I think that's. Uh, I think that's what makes a band great. You know, when everyone can contribute, and you know, put all their ideas in and everything. I mean, it's not like we're a, a one man band that, that, can, that, can... that, that one, one guy decides everything. It's more like, mm. what do you think of this riff? What do you think of this song? Everyone can chip in. What do you think? Everyone I'm wondering helps. how Ingvi Malmsteen would see in this. <laughs> I, I, I'm <laughs> guessing he, he, but, he, he, can, he can't <laughs> really agree on that one. But I, but I uh, went home to 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 Ingvi, I have a guitar idea. You're fired. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, but 
It's it's important. I had the, uh, this idea of uh, Ennio Morricone, uh, that kind of thing, to the vibe. And I told Matti, I showed him some music that Ennio Morricone wrote, and so to give him an idea of what the vibe should be uh, as an intro and outro, and what could happen. So and then he came up with some arrangement, and I did some stuff as well on that one with the mellotron. But but then basically that that's what Frederick says we. We have some contribute with different ideas and have some yeah. something put together. But, but definitely, the video and and sound blends. It's it's like like uh, you you have to watch this seven minutes and it's l very short actually. It's seven minutes long for a song, but you have to always continue watching what's going on and with disbelief or what how the, how people. If tell you what, if one day one of these motherfuckers press the buttons, we are too stupid for this planet, you know. Yeah. yeah. But. I, I remember I, I had I remember that the, this duck and cover instruction movies from, from that was from the US and that's outrageous. It, I mean, it's so stupid, of course. I mean, duck and cover if the if you, someone is going to blow the the bomb. And I told a friend uh, Kenneth who is making a lot of the music videos, and I told him about this idea, and mm -hmm. then he tried and then. He listened to the song and he said, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, to do something that yeah. contributes to this, to the vibe and and, and fr from that as a base with this uh, duck and cover." That's why turtles will survive. Yeah. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> All right, you know now. Uh, before before I, I have a little little attack on you guys because I I collecting messages. First of all, I want to say I of course I ask you for to to support our fan club. And and uh, you immediately said yes, no problem. And yeah. so we, we get a fan package from Sweden to Germany, yeah. right? Definitely, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, you. thank you, you so much. It. And I need something else from you, but I show you also a, a gentleman who did it. I want something like this. Maybe a little bit more attitude from you guys, heavy. But this man is a, is amazing. Watch this. And you are watching Metalheads Forever, the real place with real music and real people. We will see you out there on the road. Peace and love. Marco Mendoza. Yeah. I love this guy. He's the real deal. He's coming right. back on the 12th September to present his new album. Oh, cool. And I need something from you, this exactly like this. Hey, this is Frederick and Leonard from Lugnet, and you're watching Metal at Forever, something like this. Can you do this with of attitude? Of with course, I get I get rid of this, and <laughs> you make it by yourself. Count in how you do it. No problem. I edit later. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. we can do it. The screen is you. Hi, this is Frederick. Hi, this is Leonard from Lugnet. We just want you to be on the best metal heads forever. Forever, ever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Can you believe that? Yes, yes it was cool. I, I like this, you know. It was was sympathetic, cool band. Thank you so much, Frederick and Leonard. But we are not done. We have we have quite quite some songs more. Yep. And now cool. comes one of, of from the new album, uh, with my little idea background. And here is in harvest time. Killer track, and let's play it now, and then here we go. <laughs>
That's exactly the last 10 seconds comes the high scream in the right yeah. moment, the right, the highlight. I tell you what, when I listened to the whole album today in the dark with my headphones on in full blast, you know, it was like, fuck yeah, you know, that, that, that's just so groovy and you can feel it. This is life. That this is how you record. Actually, you record one by one or you record together. Oh, no, no, we're, we're all together in the same room, actually. Yes. <laughs> so I have my bass amp and speakers in front of Frederick and guitar players on the sides. Uh, so we record the, the basic tracks is recorded live. That's you feel that's there's there so much feeling inside and all that's it's amazing. It, it or, or let's say groove. It grooves. It's it's plans. It's fantastic. I love it. This is that's why I chose this song. It's very hard if, if you have so many great songs in one album. Say what's what you could I choose everybody, but you have so many videos. So that is, and I want to show a little bit about the band history, or not not only the new album, you know, but this uh, because the material is so good. That is the problem that to choose then. But hmm. I'm very okay. happy to choose this track because it's one of the highlights. But very hard to say because it's it's a it's a taste. Somebody maybe likes the other song more, but uh, either that also hold that this album, it's tales from the great beyond. It's a great from from uh, pride and joy. Uh, so Birgit uh, had a, a a good a good hand in this, no? Yeah, yeah. Birgit Wanke, yeah. greetings, Birgit Wanke. Yeah, say hello to Birgit. Yeah, thanks. Great great bands in 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 their in their uh, in their label. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, she did, she's doing an amazing job. So it's really good. It's really. Yeah, really appreciate that collaboration. Very cool. Now, uh, what what is the backstory to the Harvest Time? Who wrote this song? That's... You too, Freddie. Yeah. The drummer writes the songs. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah, it's an unusual thing, but it happens <laughs> once in a while. I mean, that that's an old old song as well. I think uh, I didn't. I wrote it. I didn't really like it because I thought it was maybe a bit too much. Sound a bit too bit too much like Deep Purple. And uh, I don't know. I think it was Matti, our guitar player, who said, "No, we should play this song. It's a good song." Of course. Yeah. You know um, what, what yeah, was the it, first question was... I asked you today, and your your reaction was immediately uh, say, "Is it possible?" That the guy with the white strut likes Richie Blackmore and you both bursted out in love. <laughs> yes. Oh, exactly. yeah. But, but it's actually the other guy. Yeah. But it, yeah. The, the other guitar player. All right. Who, who said we should play it? But yeah. But yeah, it, it turned out great. It's a, it's a great song. It's fun to play. And it's just like, yeah. I mean, it's great. Like four and a half minutes long. Just. He's the man for the 15 minute, but you have to write your own your own opera, I guess. Yeah, Frederick. Someday, when Soon we, come. yeah, when when we get older, we should do that. Older, yes. Percent. And uh, the the story in Harvest Time. That's Johan's vocals, and he, he wrote the. He's he's been writing all the lyrics. So, I, I, to be honest, I am not really 100% sure about his vocal in this part. Maybe Frederick knows. I don't no, know. not really, but ever since the mo most of your ones uh, uh, lyrics are they're, they're quite dark in a way. Call him. Hey, what yeah. this fucking song actually means? Ah, no, okay, now. <laughs> no, he, he's in Spain on vacation, so I'm not calling him. Is he? Wait, That's actually, a different. Actually, when he started to uh, uh, just when he started playing with us, he started to work as a, uh, what's it called, as an undertaker. Yeah. So mo most of his lyrics are about uh, death, life, and... life and death, <laughs> and just pretty much depressed. He really worked as an undertaker. Yeah. Yeah. It's, wow. it's, it's, it's funny, but it's it's true. He's still <laughs> still doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's you know, I, I mean, I, I think. It, the lyric, the lyrics actually fit the songs. Well, I if mean, you it... pass before him, you know, you say, "I make you pretty, motherfucker. Yeah. Don't worry." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, well, not, you not know, I read a little bit because for one for one week, I I washed actually the corpse. This was a job one week, 
right. <laughs> it was in the 90, uh, 90. I was one week and I had enough dead people uh, before in the nursery home. I worked 20 months. And then I, I of this, uh, of course, I knew all the, 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 the coroners I met, you know, of course, in this 20 months. And that was my next job, but one week enough. Hanging yeah. and, and, and accidents and oh, oh no, thank you. Yeah. So uh, now, now now you have a different look on, on your singer. <laughs> yeah, damn. So beware. Be a, no, not me, no, because <laughs> I'm too far away from him. You beware. Yeah. He makes yeah. you happy. He makes you. He, he gives you the last look. Will be with makeup. Believe yeah, me. Big smile. <laughs> <laughs> big smile. Hollywood <laughs> smile. All right. Let's play the next song. And this is a, 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 a great video. It's uh, also video out of, of uh, 50 years old, more than 50, I guess. It's from the 50s. 60 yeah, now old, it's huh? one I thought you were going to play earlier. Yeah, this is, I think no. it's from 59. Yeah, it uh, is. The movie is from 59. It's a really a cult picture, picture uh, from, from 59. Swedish yeah. classic. <laughs> the song Pale Design. But it is now, this is from, from the Tales from the Great Beyond, right? Yeah, yes, definitely. Yes. Correct. All right. So I got it wrong before. This is right now. And yeah, and let's talk about this video after. Watch first. Cool video, cool song. And with a happy ending for, for the alien, let's say. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. <laughs> They got it right.
And off he goes. Yeah. This world is too crazy for him. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yes. That, they, that's the message. Because I got it take... right away when I saw this video. Yes, I knew it. Yeah. Too that's... many crazy people knock on heads going around here on the earth. Yeah. True. Yeah. We have we have a, a special guest now from in the, in the Philippines. Danny. Danny the Rock. Danny Christich. He. he Actually, then you want to do three, three thirty, uh, thirty, uh, three thirty in the morning. What are you doing, motherfucker? You can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool, Danny Christie on Heike Christie after the work, I guess. This is all from our fan club. That's great, great metal heads. Cool. Yes, yeah. metal yeah. mortal set, Count Raven. Yeah. Also influence for, for, for you guys listen to this? No, I, I used to play bass with them. Really? <laughs> Mortal, hast du es gewusst, dass, dass, dass der Frederick bei Count Raven gespielt hat? Because Mortal is he's our nerd. He knows a lot in, in insider stuff. We have we have like Tom Gindorf, Peter Krause, they are they are they are the people that they're really collecting and, 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 and they have a lot of CDs. And Metal Mortal, for example. He knows so much, so much uh, inside stuff, you know, that, that he's digging, you know. And so, Mortal, hast du es gewusst, dass das der Frederick bei Count Raven spielte? Bin jetzt, uh, now I, I ask him yeah. if, he, if he really. By the way, we, we, we talk about, uh, I know a famous, famous Swedish actor, Kiel Beckwist. No, oh, oh, okay. Shell, oh, okay. Shell, yeah. Shell, Shell, yes. He's a cool guy. I like yes, him. Yes, you he's know. Really He came to my show many, many times when I was in Thailand, and and he lives actually on the beach. He has a, he bought two houses because in the, in the middle is is a, is a swimming pool, and he he uh, invites all the kids. He has a very good heart. He's, he's he makes good money, you know, with his acting, and and uh, he invites and he he sponsors a school in Thailand. Uh, he by himself he's, he pays for it and he invites all the kids to to give them a swimming pool you know and and he's, and this is is crazy because he's so famous uh, all the Swedish know him but he is so down to earth yeah, uh, cool. that that, cool uh, that that people passing him he sits on a terrace and says, hey Jill. and then they have a small talk you know and yeah. sometimes they have a picture of them or they give an autograph you know but he's so so cool guy and yeah, yeah. yeah it's good Jell Bergquist. Yeah. Yeah, to one of the top actors, movie actors in movies. Yeah, in Sweden. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah it's cool. Yeah, yeah, definitely. cool guy. I love it. I have great picture with him. So now, uh, pale design. Okay, what is a uh, from from the? This was my my my, my uh, uh, Chinese speech. Call who uh, uh, AI. Okay. When I say okay, then then suddenly uh, say sorry, not uh, I th I didn't understand. Say. Shut the fuck up, you know. <laughs> you are not, you're not meant. Who are I? Is is the childish bitch I call her? Uh, yeah. Pale design. Yeah. What is the story about? Well, the whole song is. I think that's the last song we wrote for the album. Yeah, probably. I think we just needed one. Uh, We just needed something that was different from everything else. Different rhythm thinking uh, as a group. And we had we had that song before, but then it sounded more like Merciful Fate. Actually, so we 
said, ah, we, we're not going to use this. And then we just uh, sat and listened to demos and everything. It was like, well, we can work on this one. Just make it sound a bit more like Rainbow, perhaps. Well, I, th I think ha have a little bit from Immigrant Song, a little bit dun -da 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 -dun -da -da -dun, rhythm wise. Uh, it's not, yeah. not necessarily something that we thought of, but yeah, yeah, when you say it, it's. Uh, yeah. I, th I think uh, with again, thought more about. This is this is long net. This is something something different. You know, you have so many influences because you you cover the style of the seventies and the early eighties, yeah. and and more than more the seventies, I would say, but yeah. with a modern touch, and and what I what I really like as a vocalist is this: you have you are actually very busy in in your songs. You're always busy. There is something going on. Is it, is it is it the bass lines? Is it is it's it's a, a, a very 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 uh, creative drumming and of course the guitars and still the singer has space to have nice lines that is the different he's not yeah. rushing he's always relaxed he has, he has he has enough time to 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 bring always good good uh, 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 melodies and once again he has something in his uh, this his tone there is something like 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 he's he's horse but it's not hers because because then then in in, in in you think he can never reach the high pitch tone and suddenly he do it you know so it's not hers it's his, his, his uh, natural voice this is very very unique and very very cool I think I that's think. part of his signum actually I would say that he can do that yeah and, and that that's that's something that really sticks out with him and his vocals with you are yeah. yeah but as, as you say we blend. You, you said it before we blend all those influences and then you get lungnet of course and then and the bass is in the 70s but now with the new album I, I would say that the the clock is going a little bit on the late 70s just in the crossing of the 80s perhaps just... yeah we said like early early 80s like february 81 yeah maximum <laughs> well that, that, to, to that, be honest when I hear your bass playing, for me, it's like uh, eyes are blend between Giza Butler, The Who, uh, uh, Led Zeppelin. This is creative bass playing, you know. It's 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 old school, but yeah, very is. very. I grew up. Well, that's why I grew up with, and and of course I like uh, listen a lot to Cream. Uh, yeah, of course, with, uh, with Jack Bruce, uh, great influence, and and Geezer. They are playing. I mean, it's not just playing one note or eight they, they actually they they contribute to the songs in in another way I think if you if you tell Giza Butler to play only one tone I think he's dying on the spot you know yes, probably. <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah but yeah you just mentioned it this is also the, the old school like Ginger Baker and and Jack Bruce this combination yeah. of, of of these two guys is this uh, and it's also a little bit in your style you know this is this creative playing and and a good, good back, back. Uh, this is a the commando from the back. You know, this is a kick ass. I, I would love to see you guys live because yeah, it's gone. it's amazing. It's an amazing band. And uh, as I said before, look at you. You see the band and you know what you get. There is yeah. no no sandal. There is no flip flop. There is there is that's that's a, a hard rock band. All long hair, so long they are still gross. Great, looks great. One look, one one band. Very cool. Yeah. No surprise. And now, and now we have we have to go one more time back to yeah. to, to hear your your former vocalist because it's too good not to play this song. It's also a great video. It's Night Walker. One more time with Roger, and then Roger is already uh, released from this show. And let's play it. I love it. It's Night Walker from 2016. Here we go.
So geil. Great. <lacht> Why only two minutes? Uh, what is it long? Two minutes 46. This could be a four minute song. I just thought it was enough. Yeah, maximum three minutes. Maximum. A class, oh, oh well, school uh, single. <laughs> yeah. 249 or 250. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. This is a killer, I tell you. Also, vocalist. This is very heavy, actually. This is the most, the most heavy track from, from you guys. What I heard so. Yes. Oh. Good cool. punch. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, mate. Is this uh this this uh these songs from from before like Nightwalker or 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 uh, either Easy, they are still in the set. You playing this live? Uh, sometimes we, it was a while ago we played It Ain't Easy. That we haven't played that for for a while. And uh, and Nightwalker, I don't remember. We, we did that. I mean. Now we have the COVID and Corona, so we haven't played a lot lately. But uh, I think Nightwalker we have had a couple of years ago, I think, the last time. So, but sometimes we play that. But it ain't easy. Was was longer longer ago since we played that one. I, I I think so. Yeah, something like that. When when you're live again. When people can see you live, are you coming to 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 Germany, for example, or Austria or Switzerland? We don't have anything planned, unfortunately. Uh, for yeah, for our, for Germany, we have a gig coming up in Sweden now on this Saturday uh, in Skogsro Rocken in the middle of Sweden, outside in the woods. Uh, and we can also say we have a. It's it's not official yet, but we can say now we're gonna play uh, August twenty eighth at the place called. Akurat in Stockholm, Sweden, as the release party, the re release gig. But we would love to come play in in Germany, Austria, and etc. And we need some good management or some some promoter that can take us there. Uh, I know one I, promoter for you for sure. That Hannes would be Rittel. great. And I, I have <laughs> to to be honest. One thing for me personal that would be really fun was I have a friend that we I went to when I was younger back to Germany. He's His relatives lived in Essen, and uh, we used to pass by the, I think uh, it's called Grugar Hall or something, that Rock yeah. Palace used to be broadcast there sometimes. And, and I said, yeah, I want to play there once. I want to go here and play. <laughs> so that would be a kind of special dream for me, or just to, to have that. Thing. I tell you what, if, if you get a message from, from Hannes Rittel, he's a promoter in Austria, and he, he's, he's great. He's he's our age you know and and he he was today already in in, in, the, in the chat and he already praised you and he, i talked with him before before the show actually right. we talked about about uh, uh lungnet and he he he's a fan of yours and and, and he, he's a great great promoter i tell you if you need pro, uh, a promotion in, in in austria whatever he's he's involved and he's with king diamond uh, for involved for example right. uh, he knows quite good people you know so uh He's also in our fan club, so he's a, a great asset to our show, 100%. That's why we have so many Austrian bands now, like tomorrow. That is Hannes Rittel. He has a good influence in our show. And I said, we want to if come you back. ever... Yeah. Well, we, have two more, we have two more songs. Now we, we watch you guys live. Now it's time to watch you the real deal. You know, it's like, that's what you get if you book a, a, a Lungnet. That's what you get. No, no playback bullshit this real deal but before we do it i need a photo before it, before i forget it for the the instagram and and, and uh, youtube and uh, facebook I, will, i count the three i press the button and you give me a little you know what uh, all, right. <laughs> all right ready three one two three easy going you know it's like like you have a puppy you know it's so good good boys good <laughs> boys yeah that's that's what i what i saw when 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 we when we uh, i saw you today in in, in the in the in the in our warm-up immediately very friendly very warm you know it's like it felt, it felt good it was immediately we joking around it was like i know your guys already for long and that yep. is actually a, always a good sign you know if the humor is there that's it that's yeah. it and, we and now And now, now we we watch you guys on stage with the song Wayne's. And, and this because it's now what time is it now? 
it's um, 3.45 in the morning. I need another coffee. That's it. Because this is a five-minute song, more than five minutes. What's happened, Frederick? I, I, I didn't write this one. <laughs> 5.53. This gives me yeah. time for peace and coffee. So yeah. thank you. And here is, Go ahead. You're this, welcome. This is for you. That is for me. This is <laughs> Lonet and Reigns live on stage. Oh, yeah!
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I love the screaming. Yeah, yeah. So do I, we. Once again. I keep myself. Uh, the question, how big is your singer? Because uh, in, in the Quite chat cool. now. Yeah, I, think, I don't know. If it's, it's, I think it's more than two, me two meters. I don't remember. But I think <laughs> Harald, you have Reiki hopped. I think, yeah, it should be more than two. It is great. And, and, and Mikkel said, uh, now it's, it's wrong. Uh, the, the others are too, uh, uh, too small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's, that's the thing. We're more like ACDC, you know. <laughs> yeah, like Malcolm Young and Angus Young. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he's huge. Yeah, he is huge. Great. And this was actually from uh, um, when we, it was COVID-19. So it was a, um, a live show on 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 the net internet with together with some other bands so yeah i like this are you out there <laughs> yeah and it's just yeah. empty <laughs> i had oh. some 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 guests here already there there they did this this online shows and said it's very weird feeling you play yeah. and then and then silent yeah <laughs> but better better this like 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 the 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 the, the car in the car park you know is so let me let me hear you your horns what the fuck you know <laughs> actually i i saw i saw a great footage from doro doro pesh yeah she, she did a, a concert like this and then she went down and she she, she walked uh, she ran through through the cars and everybody out there yay and it's, cool. it's actually cool you know she's like what the fuck i want to be close to you guys you know that's that's, that's very good. cool that's really good. good. Wayne's it's the, the second last song. What was what is what is the, the, the story to Wayne's? Oh I think that was from the first album anyway. Uh I don't remember who came up with the if it was Macken actually or who came up with the um... I think it was one of our first guitar players who came up with the lead with the main riff. Yeah, and then we patched it together, all of us. I mean, it's uh... it's quite a heavy song. I, I like it. I like I like to play it, and it's we played it at Sweden Rock Festival as well, and it's it's really powerful live. It's wow. a live act. Live. It's also a great festival, especially the, the Pride of Sweden, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. So we played there 2018, uh, at the same time as Ossie actually played on main stage. <laughs> Uh, but we managed to get all the people now, but we had, we, it was packed on our, in our stage at the same time. So that was cool. But that, that song is, is, is a good, is, I like it. Yeah. That's, we still, we still play it live yep. every once in, it's good. every now and then. Fun to play. We are nearly done. One hour, 54 minutes. Guys, you keep me busy here. That's <laughs> I yeah. hope you had a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was fun. Enjoyed. Nice. We really we, enjoyed. Do you actually said this was the, the first interview like this? We did. We have never done an interview together, sitting like we do now. Right. It's always been me and you one, or me single, or him just doing a solo. So the first time we did bass and drum and bass, bass and drum together. <laughs> That's I think the, it was a great combination. Yeah. Yeah, I think very so. Very sympathetic band, uh, and I guess the rest of the of the gang is the same. Yeah, you are. You are, you are really fantastic. Cool, you know? I'm really thankful to to have to have bands like this. This is a this is a, a caliber, and I always said, and I repeat myself, I love when when, when in in 2022 uh, the music still uh, uh, it's 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 relevant from the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and still play the bands like like uh, Lunglet uh, play this stuff. It's it, there is a market for this because good music never never dies, you know. And this is the the best example. You bring a little bit on the table more, you know. So it's 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 a, like an influence from and and to be honest, there is a reason why these are legendary bands because they are they are, they are created something in the seventies and eighties, you know, and and in sixties even, even fifties yeah. if, if 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 you count rock and rollers in it, you know, which is also a, a big part of of everything, you know. It's like Elvis Presley, Little Richard, and all and all stuff, and, and Beatles and Rolling Stones, and and from 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 century to century. Everybody brings something on the table, and and if you if you get this these influences and have the chemistry, Lungnet is the real deal. That's that's for sure. Thank oh, you. And nice then, I'm really thankful for for this evening because this is uh, again handmade music. This is 
real music for real people. And, and we grew, we thank you. We grew up with it, and we we loved it then. And now we just don't change it. Keep it. Bring something back to the people <laughs> from from our until influence. you get the Hollywood smile done by Johan. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not so easy as so far, so fast. <laughs> All right, guys, we have yeah. one more, and this is the song I chose actually for the teaser. And this is "Die for You," which yeah, is for yeah. me like like a little hit single. I for me I had a hit character this song, and also "Life Again," and. Give my regards to the rest of the gang, Johan and uh, the two guitar players. You are a great band and and great holidays. If you watch this show, thank you for watching the show. And all the uh, Lugnet fans outside who, who was shy to, 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 to log in, thank you for thank watching you. and share the show. And, and uh, yeah, like the show, subscribe and hit the bell. That is very important. Yeah. Frederick Leonard, it was it was an honor for me. Uh, great musicians and great band. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank love, you, man. Love it, man. Our pleasure. And don't forget our fan package with love. If if it's we have a, a, a Frederick, if we have a, 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 a skin, an old skin, like yeah. like 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 an old, please yeah, sign please. it for Mikkel. 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 Very Mikkel. I show you. Okay. I, I, I can find Mikkel. When Mikkel wrote something, where is Mikkel? Mikkel has long list not geschrieben. I want to show how, how Mikkel pronounced, but but I, I can. Unbelievable. There he is. This is Mikkel. He's collecting skins and put it in on his wall in his living room. This is, oh. is our headquarter. This is Heike. Uh, I said Heike. This is Fronal. Uh, she's our, our uh, chief from the fan club, Bavaria chapter. And this is Mikkel. And he's the guy who saw all 396 shows. Oh, this motherfucker here. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Love yeah. and respect for my brother. Right. So, you get, you get, yeah, we, we he's get gonna it. get it. Yeah, he's gonna get a drum skin. Please sign yeah, something for me for because sure. he put this on the wall. And I, I, I make a picture and I send it to you. You say there, there, there are already great drummers like Michael Ere, for example. From 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 uh, 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 no, I can no. You see, if 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 it's not written down, I forget it. It's it's dementia. <laughs> it's no problem. I know yeah. everything. Gamma ray, gamma ray. No, okay, okay. Was, yeah. All right, Frederick Leonard, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Richard. You again. And if you if the new album comes out, you have a new video, something, send it to me. Send it to Thomas Kindorf. Thomas Kinderhoff is, is, is the guy who managed everything and, and he put it together. So we have always, and you have a, a, a album comes out, comes come in, in, in after show, maybe with the, with the rest of the gang. And, yeah, and yeah. we do a, a short, a short video, uh, like an interview in the after show. All and right. a new album comes out. Yeah. Yeah. For right? sure. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. That's cool. And here okay. is the, the last song. Here is Die For You. And I say, thank you so much. I salute you. Stay healthy. Stay heavy. Keep rocking. Thank you. Bye. Take care, man. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs>
Thank you, Metalheads. Und thank you, Lungnet. Was für eine sympathische Band. Was für geile Rocker. Das ist der Real Deal. Das ist Rock'n'Roll, Freunde. Das ist Hard Rock. Vom Herzen gespielt und auch performt. 
Sehr, sehr cool. Thank you so much. Es haben Sie schon ausgelockt, sind Sie gar nicht mehr da. Vielleicht schauen Sie dazu. Thank you, Frederick. And yeah, it was great. Und ihr da draußen, das war jetzt noch mal ein, ein Teaser, weil es sind so viele Fotos, kommen immer noch was dazu. Und äh, ich werde am Freitag, am Freitag hoffentlich dann auch vom Dö Fotos kriegen. Da werde ich noch mal einen ein, ein längeren, längeren äh, äh, Video machen für das Fan-Treffen am Samstag. Ich habe äh, ich hab mich gestern gewundert, ich habe nicht gehört, ey, was ist denn da los? Ich höre gar nichts, kein Foto, nichts. Und dann habe ich dann in der Früh den Fronal angerufen und so, ich schaue es aus. Da ich, oh, alle Schnapsleichen. <lacht> da hat es gar keiner was geschrieben. Aber langsam trugen sie halt Fotos ein und Videos. Bei mir hat es die, die ganze äh, WhatsApp hat geknallt. Bra ihr braucht mir nichts mehr schicken, bitte. Äh, Post es, wenn dann in, in der Facebook-Gruppe, da kann es mir rausziehen, weil sonst ist mein Ding überladen hier. Ja, ich habe von, von ein paar Leuten schon Fotos gekriegt. Äh, ich hole es mir dann raus, ich brauche, hole ich mir raus. Ja? Danke schon mal, dass ihr alle drauf gehalten habt und danke, dass ihr gefeiert habt und die Band abgefeiert habt und die Band haben sich auch schon bedankt und sind so happy. Und war für das, dass es Juli war, war es ein, ein großer Erfolg gewesen. Und das ist schon mal schön. Und es gibt mit Sicherheit noch mal ein, ein, ein Nachspiel, kann man sagen, wo dann hoffentlich dann mehr noch zusammenkommen, wo, wo alles nochmal passt. Da werden wir dann wirklich davor schon planen, dass wir richtig das beste Datum haben, wo sie dann alle mal treffen können, irgendwo. Wo, wissen wir noch nicht, aber es kommt auf alle Fälle. So, also nochmal danke an alle, die mitgeholfen haben. Danke an den Fanclub na, Barbara Chapter fürs Vorbereiten. Flo, du hast einen geilen Job gemacht. Und natürlich das Rockstüberl nicht zu vergessen. Danke, danke, danke. Ihr habt eine geile Location und ich habe nur Gutes gehört. Und natürlich auch an Tito Flamp, so kurzfristig eingesprungen und, ist, und abgerockt. Und natürlich unser lieber Gummo auch. Ich höre nur Bestes. Es war genial, was ich gehört habe. Also nochmal danke an alle. Thank you, Metalheads. So, Freunde. Jetzt würde ich sagen, jetzt machen wir noch mit drei Videos hinterher und dann haben wir wieder einen geilen Montagabend hinter uns. Das wird sowieso eine geile Woche und es gibt eine, eine schlechte Nachricht. Morgen haben wir eine geile Band aus Österreich und zwar äh, Autumn Bright. Sehr cool. Am Mittwoch das große Wacken-Spezial. Das wird natürlich super. Thomas Jensen ist hier. Das wird mit sicher eine legendäre Show. Wir sind jetzt schon am Planet seit, seit zwei Wochen schon. Thomas ist, äh, ist total involviert schon mit Meetings, dass man weitgelistet werden. Aber was genau passiert, weiß man, weiß man nicht. Ich, ich hoffe, dass der Tom mir heute noch heute Nacht der Sendung noch äh, etliches sagen kann, wie das Meeting verlaufen ist. Aber es wird auf alle Fälle eine geile, geile Show. Und Thomas Jensen mal zu haben, ist schon mal eine, eine Hausnummer. Der Boss von Wacken. Das ist natürlich schon der Wahnsinn. Freue mich total drauf. Am Donnerstag haben wir Sein X. Jetzt kommen wir gleich zum, zum leider zum Traurigen. Henning Bassi musste leider nochmal absagen, den geht es immer noch schlecht. Der, ist, der hat total einen Rückfall gehabt, den, der hat sich entschuldigt. Und äh, wir haben aber dafür, das Hard Summer Festival wird jetzt am Freitag nachgeholt. Also Stefan, äh, der, der Organizer und Schlachter von Déjà-vu, ist am Freitag unser Gast. Also, es wird am Freitag die 400. Sendung. 400, Freunde. Und natürlich eine schöne Ver Verlosung hinterher dann. Also, wird eine geile Show auch am Freitag. Und dann ist es jetzt mal für eine Woche in Ruhe. Habt, ihr könnt mal die so Show eh noch anschauen. Ich will extra eine Stunde, wird jeden Tag gemacht. Montag bis Freitag gibt es eine Stunde. Es gibt auch keine Verlosung am Freitag. Da machen wir später dann wieder äh, mehr dann zusammen. Tun. Also, nächste Woche könnt ihr trotzdem chatten. Ihr könnt euch trotzdem treffen. Aber ich bin eigentlich, ich kann euch zuschauen, weil ich in Urlaub bin. Okay? Also, nächste Woche trotzdem einschalten und chatten und dabei sein. Aber eine Stunde nur. Eine Stunde pro Tag. Best of Metal. Ich suche dann schon ein geiles Programm aus. So, Freunde, los geht's mit Gebrüll. Ich sehe schon wieder. Ah, wie narrisch. Naked HD XYZ. Looks like we found you a girl. Helly, ruf mal an. Die brauchen dich. Benutzer sperren. Motherfucker, bye bye. So. Ich würde sagen, machen wir noch ein bisschen Musik. Und zwar eine Band haben wir, glaube ich, noch nie gespielt. Und ich würde sagen, ist was für einen Tom. Tom, kennst du Veritates? Veritates habe ich auch gerade entdeckt. Äh, müssen, müssen glaube ich, deutsch sein. Vielleicht österreichisch, aber sie sind, sind deutsch und haben auf alle Fälle geiles, geiler Sound. Geiles Video auch. Veritates, for my thoughts. Und wir sagen, here we go.
Jawohl. Geil. Gefällt mir. Very Tates. Herr Ginder, bitte zur Kasse. Hat er da eh schon einen Zettel. Bei, klar, dass du es gekannt hast, aber man muss dir ja vielleicht einmal noch hinstupsen. Wie wäre es mit der Band noch? Wir haben ja eh so viele Bands, wo, wo noch warten, dass die jetzt sich langsam. Wir haben dann vergessen, es ist ja Juli und Juli, August, aber wir sind eh so knallvoll jetzt im August und der September sind wir fast voll. Ich glaube, zwei, drei haben wir noch. Ist der September auch schon getötet. Jetzt, jetzt, jetzt gehen wir eh schon an Oktober ran und das wäre doch eine geile Band. Finde ich auch. I've Earth und uh, Matt Barlow, ja. Hat schon ein bisschen was, Ähnlichkeit. Geil. Ich sag, deutsche Band. Sehr, sehr cool. Wir haben Talente, ne? Das ist davon nicht vergessen. Und die müssen wir alle kennenlernen. So. Ein Talent natürlich, an den kommt man gar nicht vorbei. Das ist, und, und da darf man nicht vergessen, wie lange das der Gentleman jetzt das schon macht. Ne? Ich war schon ein Fan in den 80ern. Stay Hungry war einer meiner Lieblingsalben in der Zeit. Twisted Fucking Sister. Und Leadsänger, Dee uh, Snyder natürlich, ist ein legendärer Sänger, der es immer noch kann. Der schaut immer noch cool aus hat immer noch die gleiche Stimme und hat eine Stage-Performance aus dem Vogelweg und hat eine geile Band. Ob diese Nummer jetzt durchläuft, da bin ich jetzt einmal gespannt, weil die ist, nicht, die ist, die ist jetzt ein Live-Konzert, aber ich probiere es einfach. Ich habe nichts gesehen, dass da irgendwie ein Label dahinter ist. Wir probieren es einfach mal. Das Schlimmste, was passieren kann, dass es halt sperren oder dass das blockiert wird, dann wissen wir halt, äh, ja, wäre sch schade, aber mir hat es gefallen. Geiler Song, Lies are a Business. Hier ist die Snyder live. Here we go. Viel Spaß. Fucking Snyder! 
Yes! Wisst ihr, wie alt das der Gentleman ist? Sechs, äh, 67. 67! Andere haben schon die Bettpfanne und, und einen Stapelbecher. Der, der rockt noch schon raus wie ein junger Gott und klingt noch genauso wie 84. Genau noch so. Das ist der Hammer. Wie lange hat der gerockt? Der hat auch die ganzen 40 Jahre ja nicht anders gemacht als gerockt. Und hat sich anscheinend seine Stimme gut aufgehoben. Der klingt ganz genauso. Das war live, Freunde. Nicht irgendwie over the bullshit. Das ist der real deal. Deshalb ist diesen Neider heute noch einer der weltbesten Frontmänner. Der kann es nämlich. Absolut cool. Ich bin ein Fan von dem und der ist, ja, klingt nicht genauso wie Stay Hungry. Unglaublich. Oh, I want a rock und the price und und so. Geil. Schade, dass es das jetzt nicht mehr gibt, aber da müssen wir schauen, dass es an Ich habe mir immer hab sagen lassen, dass der Dies Snyder ganz netter ist. Vielleicht kriegen wir den irgendwie. Mal schauen, ob wir eine Connection so mal über James Rivera oder so, dass man vielleicht, oder, oder Marco Mendoza, dass uns der vielleicht der Dies Snyder bringt. Das wäre doch mal geil. Da gibt es so viel geiles Material jetzt von ihm so live, da können wir aus dem Vollen schöpfen. Dies Snyder wäre doch mal ein Hammer, oder? J.J. French habe ich leider nicht bekommen, den habe ich ein paar Mal angeschrieben. Ich hatte die E-Mail-Adresse, aber leider hat sich J.J. French nicht entschließen können, zu uns zu kommen. Ich hätte mal über Twitter Sister können, aber die Snyder wäre mir eh lieber, ganz ehrlich. Die Snyder, das wäre doch mal eine, eine, eine Hausnummer, oder? So, Freunde, wir haben noch eine Nummer. Alle, die wo schon ausgeschaltet haben, vielleicht später noch anschauen. Gute Nacht und schlaft gut, wird's gesund. Lieber Georg, lieber Schorsch, Schorsch Russo, ich habe es gar nicht gut, dass, dass, du, dass du Corona hast, du alter Schwede, Mensch. Das ist, ich wünsche dir eine ein schnelle, ja, einen, einen, einen leichten Verlauf, wenn es geht und natürlich, dass du schnell wieder auf die Füße kommst. Die ganze Community steht hinter dir. Ja, wir sind bei dir dabei. Mit Herzen. Wärst du wieder gesund, mein Lieber. Und ja, alle, die, wo es nicht gut geht. Ich habe mal sagen lassen, Helly ging es auch nicht gut am Wochenende. Ich hoffe, dass es heute ein bisschen besser geht. Helly, ich habe Fotos gesehen. Gefällt mir gar nicht, Helly. Schauen wir, dass wir die wieder auf, am, Bann, am, am Damm kriegen. Nicht Bann. Damm kriegen, Helly. Wir brauchen dich, unser lieber Helly. So, ihr da draußen, morgen kommt eine geile Band aus Österreich. Ich habe mal sagen lassen vom, vom, vom äh, Hannes Rittel, die Creme de la Creme. Und da hat mir noch vorher noch ein, ein Video geschickt von letztes Jahr vom, vom, vom Inrock. Die haben es richtig drauf. Eine richtige Powerfrau kommt morgen. Eine geile, ich sehe schon wieder, Herrgott, mal. lass mich mal schon mal die Heizdeckenverkäufer mal absperren und blockieren. Wieder schauen. Have a nice day. So, ich würde sagen, morgen kommen Autumn Bright. Einschalten, dabei sein mitrocken und eine geile Zeit haben. Lass mal den Dreck und den Sorgen vor der Tür. Hier drin ist Friede, Freude, Heavy Metal. Bis morgen, Freunde. Danke für, für einen geilen Chat wieder. Ihr wart wieder legendär. Übrigens, muss ich muss jetzt mal sagen, ich, ich, ich bekomme sehr viel Reply von, 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 Fan, äh, von Bands, die sich immer bedanken für die Show, aber immer wird dazu geschrieben, and thank you so much for, und danke für die Community, die ist sensationell. Und da schließe ich mich an, ihr seid sensationell. Deshalb äh, lebt diese Sendung noch und wird auch weiterleben und wir werden größer. Hundertprozentig. Gemeinsam. So, Freunde, morgen einschalten. Autumn Bright sind am Start. Und ich würde sagen, gute Nacht, bleibt geil und euer Rich. Bis morgen. Ciao. Hasta you.
And you are a fan now. You're a fan. And as a fan, you will never ever forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Hit that bell. Goddamn. Way down below.